is there a better Bond movie than Goldfinger? Now, this question is coming to you from someone that loves Bond movies. I'm obsessed with them. I think they're fantastic. And there are so many great Bond movies. The Living Daylights, um, Goldeneye, Skyfall, Casino Royale, Thunderball. I mean, I could go on, but Goldfinger has just got that certain something, doesn't it? It's got Sean Connery at Pete Connery. It's got that amazing three-piece suit. It's got the DB5, one of the absolute best vehicles ever in film history. It's got all the gadgets. They use all the gadgets. It travels internationally. You've got an incredible bad guy with Auric Goldfinger. You've got an incredible um, henchman in Odd Job. And if you think about it, it's got such a cultural impact. We wouldn't have so many Bond movies if it wasn't for Goldfinger. You would never have the Austin Powers movies if it wasn't for Goldfinger. So that's my question to you. Is there any better Bond movie than Goldfinger? Which one is your favourite? But also, there's an interesting fact about Goldfinger that I didn't know. And I've seen this movie 11 billion times and I didn't know it until only a few years ago is that all of Auric Goldfinger's dialogue, except for like one line, basically the entire movie is done in ADR. It's re-recorded by another actor because the guy playing Goldfinger couldn't speak English well enough. They were saying his lines phonetically, so they had to re-record his lines. I never noticed, and honestly, if you watch the movie and look closely, you're not going to notice either. Blew my mind when I discovered that. But why am I talking about Goldfinger? Well, because I love Goldfinger, but I also love movies. And in fact, I do a movie podcast. And this week, we're doing a, um, we went to Kentucky because the United States have a movie podcast every week. We try to find one movie to define each state in the United States. So I threw in Goldfinger, because of course, you got Fort Knox. Um, then my buddy, uh, Ryan, he went with The Inside, an incredible Michael Mann movie that I haven't seen since 1999. That's amazing. Why do we not talk about this movie more? And then another movie that we've never heard of with an absolutely stacked cast. It's got Patrick Swayze, Helen Hunt, Liam Neeson, Bill Paxton. It's a movie called Next of Kin. And then we watched the movie and we realized that's why we haven't heard about this movie. But I tell you what, Kentucky might be famous for Kentucky Fried Chicken. But Next of Kin, Ben Stiller's in that movie. It doesn't end well for him. And I tell you, do you like your Ben Stiller's Extra Crispy? Because that's the movie for you. If you want to listen to the podcast, you can find it wherever you listen to podcasts. It's on Spotify, it's on Apple, it's on Amazon. Or if you like to watch the podcast, we also have a YouTube show you can enjoy. But I want to hear about your Bond opinions. Is Goldfinger the ultimate? What do you think?